Today I'm going to show you how to mix paints and make a color wheel. You'll need three temper paints, the primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, a paintbrush, a paper towel, a paint palette, and a water bowl. You'll also want a piece of paper so you can lay out a pie chart ahead of time or you can just do little circles in a circle around. You don't have to do it this constructed, but this is how I like to do it. First we'll paint red. Get that all squared away. And now we're going to mix orange. So what we want to do is we want to make sure we don't have that much red on our paintbrush since it's already on our paintbrush. I'm going to dab a little bit into the palette, make sure I get most of it off of my brush because you always want to do dark into light because the more dark you put into light, the quicker the color changes faster. If you have to put light into dark, it takes a lot more paint. See, and I just want to make sure we scrape off the edges as well because otherwise you see these little swirls of color. Just make sure you're mixing it really well and scraping off the edges near the metal tip. You don't want to see that on your painting. So we're going to do just primary and secondary colors for this tutorial, but you can go ahead once you're finished with those and make the intermediate or tertiary colors that are the mixes between the primaries and secondaries. Now moving on to yellow. And see, since I have yellow on my paintbrush already, what I'm going to do is take the yellow and put a lot of yellow in this palette. And then I'm just going to take a tiny bit of blue because we want to do dark in the light. Just a little bit, see? That's a little too much. And then, then I'll mix it together. I'll go from there. Now laying our green down. But see this right here is color from the old paints. I didn't wash my brush all that well when I made orange earlier and it was sticking in near the top. So all I want to do is wipe that off with a paper towel just to make sure I don't get any streaks of random color in my, <laughs> in my green because otherwise that would look kind of funny. Probably need to change my water at this point too. I'm going to do blue. And with blue, since blue is the darker color as well, I want to wipe off just a little bit in the palette because you really just want to have a tiny bit of the dark color because otherwise it'll take too much of the light color, the light color being red this time, to make violet. So I'm going to actually still need a lot of red for, for this mix. As you can see there, it's turning out pretty nice. I like that color. I like how it's looking. I just need a little more of it. Just want to make sure we get the perfect violet hue. I think that works. See, here's here it is again. The blue is leaving a streak on my paper. I don't want it to do that because it's not mixed all the way at the top near the metal tip. So I'll just wipe that part off. Make sure the streak is out make sure the mix I'm using is all violet. And there you go. We've done our primaries and secondaries and there are our colors. Next up, you can mix all your intermediate or tertiary colors. And the way you would do that is you would mix your primary and secondary colors and in the middle would go your intermediate color. And when you're labeling them, just remember the primary color is always the first on the label. So if you did red and orange, it's red orange. Or yellow and orange, it's yellow orange. Look at all those pretty colors.